Hi, it's Michelle at the Carrollwood Cultural Center. I am the curator here for six different galleries and I am coming to you with, uh, this is the second part of Floating Vessels in honor of our Titanic uh, musical. We have a, the Titanic musical coming on our stages in, um, in actually April of this, this year, 2020. So here we go. And there's a little bit of noise downstairs, but I think we'll be okay. I just wanted to share this with you. So I'm gonna open up the door, here we go. This piece of art is by Hetty Eisen. It's called Swimming. And then I've got this one by Colleen Proventure called Sail On. Isn't it beautiful? Lots of gorgeous texture. And then this one is also called Wave by Hetty Eisen. And then this one is by Kathy Carrier. How fun is that? Look at these little flamingos. <laughs> so we are actually gonna go over to the other side. Do you see it? We're gonna go over there for a little bit and here's a little sneak peek of Titanic, our, um, our stage of the Titanic and what it looks like. So we're in the process. So I'm gonna take you back down the corridor past two alcoves this is our first alcove this has got sarah may's artwork in it you can go to her uh, page on the carolwood cultural center she will actually be here until december and then this is the tampa day school all of their gorgeous artwork from their second through eighth graders So let's get back to the other side of, and then this is also Sarah May's artwork. And then this is the other side of the second portion of Floating Vessels. So this one is called Sunset on the Beach by Hetty Eisen. This one is called Boating, also by Hetty Eisen. This one is a Peter Stilton piece, Voyages Beyond Frenchman Bay. So that's a mixed media piece. Let me give you some detail. Look at the nails and the wire and the string that's in it. So, yep. All right, and then we move on to, this is Wave 2 by Hetty Eisen. And then this is a Sunset in the, Har or sunset in the Harbor by um, Carolyn Karp. She was actually on the front of the call. So just gorgeous artwork. So there we are. That is the second part of floating vessels and so thank you very much for coming if you're looking for upcoming calls please go to the carolwood cultural center um dot org it, it's carolwood cultural carolwood center dot org um if you go under art gallery and then you go to call for entries you'll see all the upcoming stuff there so i've got shows coming next month in the month of april i have mother nature and then I have a uh, North Tampa Arts League is coming in in May. I have um, paintings in an exhibition in June and July. That's a that's a two month exhibit. And then I have Be Kind in August. Be Kind is it? Think about bees and how bees are. You know they just kind of buzz around. So let's be kind and just buzz around. I know that. You know it's it's always a good thing for us to do. It's um. Yeah, just good stuff. And so, all right, and so then September will be primaries. No, not elections. Primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. I want all your artwork that has just red, yellow, and blue in it. 
can have some com complementary colors too, but that's what I'm looking for. And then let's see, October is Spooky Creatures, and November is our student faculty, and then um, December is Leslie Jeffries. She's got a solo show. You've got to come see her work. It's amazing. So I will see you soon. Thank you.